revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. This is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, including you. The biggest gangsters in Gotham! I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me. All of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then, they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me.
How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really? Business. They told me you had a 
wasn't unlucky. They were assassinated. And Colin Lindfeld Cody knows why. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you. But this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. One hand washes the other, Lieutenant. Is that how it works? Of course. Otherwise, everyone has dirty hands. What he means is, we'll repay the favor in kind. I'm gonna call you on that. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We had to put Falcone in the infirmary. Batman practically tore him in half. He's helped us a lot in the past, but if you ask me, he's out of control. Well, whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. And that's the problem. People are either scared out of their wits or they're trying to copy him. Well, at least someone's getting tough on these guys. I tell you, I'd rather have Falcone in here than out on the street. You weren't there, Harvey. You didn't see it. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Some clout. <coughs> My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. It's like a mausoleum in here. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in here. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. 
Hey, I tried to get through to you, dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me. We ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? Do not push me, Falcone. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far, did it? You got that Wayne streak. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. There's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. The They're waiting for you in hell! Kill this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close! I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Ah, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in, and we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers.
tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Fresh injection site. Mm, that doesn't look like blood. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Uh Everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen. You have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone. But I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. All I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution Cobblepot said something similar I'm so sorry lieutenant I've let you down we stalled Falcone's lawyers for now but they'll be back so how is she did she tell you anything yeah hey, 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 don't worry about that now Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falcon. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! What are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories. I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought.
Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Falcone's body to get called, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Be more. 
around here. A man probably had millions in his soul drawer. <laughs> If Val Cody finds out I helped you, he'll kill me! You and Boss won't be doing much of anything! Check out his office. Where is he? You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away.
cops raided his house. Sorry. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You'd be surprised. Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. <laughs> you're shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> it's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So what? He wants to take his place? Maybe. For starters. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. You and I... Well, Bruce. You were right. Selena Kyle? Penguin says, hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Gentlemen, please, sit. Have a drink. Let's work this out like civilized people. We're done talking.
I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Pretty good. For such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! Let's get out of here. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. When will I see you again? <sighs> when you least expect it. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Hill is setting me up. Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice, the whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Bruce is the smart choice. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. Excuse me, Mr. Wayne? Uh, 
I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. Who knows, maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. You know, I, I'd actually hoped I'd never have to meet you in person. Then you made a mistake bursting in here. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? You're working with Oswald Cobblepot and his thugs. Working with them? They're a bigger threat to order than those masked freaks. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival is bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. I know exactly who I'm talking to. I'm the man who throw you over this rail without a second thought, and my lawyers make this whole thing disappear before you hit the ground. <laughs> if that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Stay away from the debate. It's not safe. <laughs> Miss my chance to humiliate Dent. It'll take more than Cobblepot to keep me away.
wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Not when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic, perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out. But police say a brawl to all tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path, path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of, backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors, rumors, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign, campaign, campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... well, it's not exactly pleasant. Ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of... Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good optic. Ouch, Harvey. Talk about a sucker punch. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. 
I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> I guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember... You are always my friend. Harvey! Quite so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. But just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. You're lucky I'm on your side. Now that may be true, but I can't ally with a violent thug. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless it's on request. This better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. You don't owe me anything. Those scum had it coming. And they say chivalry is dead. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for dead, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's based in Sheriff. We know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons of sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. 
Firing the motor radar! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Um, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started, but this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. Line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My Delmar brothers and sisters of God, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Did you ever meet the guy on the screen? Nope. Smart to let someone else do your dirty work. Go on, love. You know what to do. Until that moderator gets shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the fair.
We're out of time, Batman. The brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage. <laughs> Stop! I had him killed because of it! They won't bring back my poor old mum! So this is for her. Why don't you yeah. kill anyone else? Wait your turn, Dent! Supporter, and he didn't yes. even turn yes. up. Yes. Batman! The revolution's already started. It's too late to join. Your revolution is over, Penguin. On the contrary, we're just getting started. <laughs> Ah! 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 Ah!
City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. You may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding, but for anyone. But don't worry, Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce!